Hello guys, it's me Carl Santos, aka Epic Carl 95 and this is still breaking news from yesterday as <coughs> Rouse Fanray is still trying to offer Brad Keselowski an ownership role as far as trying to get him away from Roger Penske. So I rarely post any news outside the Hen Motorsports group, including drivers like Chase Elliott and Kyle Larson. So this is really big, and it's basically like a move Tony Stewart did when he left Joe Gibbs Racing. So he made it. So Tony Stewart made his own team in '09, and then a decade later, he still has a powerhouse team and had Kevin Harvick win a championship, like their only championship. So it's just I thought they win more, but that's what you get when you get quality drivers. In, in your powerhouse team, so and during that time, Brad Keselowski had his championship in 2012, Joey Logano in 2018. So, as you can tell, I think the reason Brad Keselowski left was the Daytona incident. You know, I know he wrecked Mike uh, or Joey Logano for the win, I believe, but yeah. He spun himself out too, and he wasn't going to take a grab out of it to get into Logano's head, you know, and I think Logano will be in a sigh of relief that Keselowski is leaving, so pretty much it's just 50-50, but we're going to have to stay tuned and see whether it's going to be official or not, but I should say it will be true, and yeah. The whole NASCAR garage is buzzing around Brad Keselowski heading off to Rouse Fenway or to say Jack Rouse to maybe replace Ryan Newman who may retire and he's aging I'm telling you and I think Brad Keselowski is around 36 or 37 years old already so that's pretty much it. So. This Brad Keselowski story will not go away for the past, for the next week or the past or the next month because these race teams they're gonna have silly season already. So I make a happy car nine five. This is my NASCAR news about Brad Keselowski, and y'all have a great day and peace out.